Yeah, urbanisation creates a lot of opportunities. As you know, urban centres are really the economic engines of many countries. Yeah, so the theme of the Water Summit is catching up with urbanisation and uh, we chose this theme because urbanisation is going so incredibly fast that it's impossible for water infrastructure to keep up. Which means that uh, if we do not act today, uh, at the pace that urbanisation is happening now, if we do not act today, we will lag behind more and more every week, every month, every year. We need to think about appropriate technologies. Obviously TU Delft is a leader with that. Um, thinking about the more appropriate technologies, thinking about climate, but also thinking about deconstructing sort of neoclassical economic systems. I think urbanization creates next to challenges also opportunities because in the city and in the way we urbanize, many things come together. And that poses a threat eh, in the context of climate, biodiversity, environment, equality, but also an opportunity because it's in their interdependency, all these cross linkages, where we have to build systemic solutions. We address this today too, eh? only a systems approach that is looking at the future will help us provide answers that work now all the way to that future. And the city provides that opportunity for a systems approach. I think what we're seeing in the global south is countries making a big paradigm shift in terms of the way in which they use water and reuse water. And you're seeing new types of innovations coming to the fore. I think students in the university like TU Delft, the research that they do, if they can ground that research very much in the global south, if they can partner with institutions in the global south and recognize that there's a lot that you can learn from the researchers from the global south, then what we can do is co-create some really good solutions to some of the problems we face. What I think the most important thing that students and young people can do is really challenge the status quo and really say like, look, you cannot make decisions about my future. Whether that's water in Europe or sanitation in Africa, people need to really start challenging authority and the status quo and really start being vocal about what they need. So the burden and responsibility should not be on the younger generation, but they can help provoke society and the existing uh, institutions to really do better.